Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a local printer onto your Windows 10 computer. So this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial and we're honestly going to just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start button just by left clicking on it one time. And you want to type in devices. And the best match that comes up should say devices and printers directly above control panel. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. And then up near the top there should be something that says add a printer. You want to left click on that. And there's a good chance that the printer will be detected automatically. I recommend that you turn on your printer at this time and make sure it's all plugged in and good to go. However, if you do not have any printers that populate this list, you want to select that the printer I want is enlisted. At this point, if you have an older printer, you could select this option up top. If you wanted to add a local printer with manual settings, you could select the last option here. And if you had the IP address for the printer, you could select this option, which should be the one I have right now. Or if you were using a Bluetooth printer, you could select that one. So these are all very good options here. But let's say we're going to add the local printer that we were going to be talking about in this video. So we're going to select next. You want to select use an existing port and then select next again. And now if you have the disk for the printer software, you can select to have a disk and it will ask you where to locate such a disk so you can get the drivers for it. I would recommend going through the manufacturer on the side here. And if you select any of these printer manufacturers and then look on the right side, you should be able to find most printer makes and models that are currently being used nowadays. And you could always search for Windows Update as well for the most up-to-date driver software. And then once you've selected the correct manufacturer and the printer, you can select next. You can change your printer name if you wanted to up at the top. Select next one more time and it will begin installing the printer and it should be a pretty quick process. I would recommend printing a test page to make sure it works. And that should be about it guys. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.